guys, welcome back to my channel, The Tiny Takeover. I'm your girl Tanya. Today we're gonna to be talking about things to let go of before 2024. Okay, things to get rid of, things to stop doing because listen, we gotta get focused. Um, I feel like 2024 is gonna be one of those years where things are really gonna change, but the only way they're gonna change is if we change them. You have to stop doing things that aren't working for you. We're always sitting there doing things, hoping for a different reaction, hoping for a different outcome. And to be honest with you, it's just not going to happen. That guy who was wasting your time, if he wasted it in 2023, he's going to waste it in 2024. So we have to just let go of the old things that just aren't working for us and start making new habits for 2024. But before we make the new habits, we have to acknowledge the old ones that we are letting go of for 2024. So if you haven't done so already, consider hitting that like and subscribe button on my channel. We talk about beauty, fashion, finance, the trifecta. You can't have one without the other. So if that's something that you might be interested in, consider hitting that like and subscribe button down below and let's get started well, the first thing we are changing for 2024 is lending out money I know we've all been there everything's going great we paid off all our bills we're just going through life and you get that text message Can I borrow? You loan me? we're not loaning out money in 2024 okay that's a habit that a lot of us feed into because at the end of the day we want to help other people help you know everybody get ahead but there's a lot of times where the people you're loaning money to you're one of maybe five or six people that they ask for this money for you're not the only person that they ask you're not the only person they came to and please trust and believe they have a backup plan okay a lot of times when we lend out money honestly talking about money or dealing with money it's hard to get your money back. Like, you don't want to be that person hounding the person like, okay, can I have my money back? Can I have my money back? Me personally, when I lend out money, I already have it in the back of my mind. Can I afford to lose this? Can I afford not to see this money again? Because everybody has a great plan to pay it back. But sometimes, you know, life happens. But then you're at a loss. A lot of times people are honestly lacking integrity. So why put yourself in that position? Just like they don't have it, you don't have it and I promise you the person will survive they won't be out in the street they won't starve their kids won't get taken to foster care they will survive without your money just make it a habit now to just set boundaries okay you're in a period of 2024 is gonna be a period of saving of excelling but if you keep loaning out money you're taking away from your saving you're taking away from your bills yes maybe your bills are paid on time but you have to save for a rainy day and loaning out money is one of those things where not only is it awkward to get your money back but depending on people to give you your money back puts you at a disadvantage by the time you get it back maybe you missed out on investment maybe you missed out on something you really want to do and and putting yourself in that situation just isn't feasible for you so in 2024 we're gonna stop loaning out money okay we're not gonna do it we don't have it you know you got to transfer the money from your check into your savings whatever you have to say say it and realize that people are gonna survive with or without you you don't have to be the saving grace and it's okay to say I don't have it the next thing we're gonna stop doing in 2024 is paying the minimum balance Girl, you know you bought that Louis Vuitton bag, that sweater you just needed, that hat with the matching boots. We know you spent that money. Why are you trying to give the credit card company $30? You're going to be paying about that $30 for the next 25 years, okay? It's not worth it. Stop paying the minimum balances on your credit cards, please. It's not doing anything. Most of it's going towards interest. Nothing's going to the principal balance, and we're just wasting our times at this point. So we're going to stop paying the minimum balance. What we're going to do is we're going to pay a little bit over the minimum balance. Say if your bill is um, $30 for the minimum, you're going to pay at least 100 And you're going to stack up that money, a big amount, and hit it towards one bill. I think this is called the avalanche method, where you're just hitting a bill nonstop, getting rid of debt for 2024. That is going to be our goal. So what I usually do is I'll put... Over the minimum, I never pay the minimum. So if I pay $100 to each of my credit cards, there'll be one credit card that I'll pay like four, five hundred, if possible, that week or that month, um, just to get rid of that bill. So they call it the avalanche method. So you pay regularly on your regular credit cards and then, and then you hit one of your other bills 
hard you keep you know throwing all the money at them so that's paid off and then move on to the next bill and the next bill so we are not paying the minimum in 2024 we're gonna get smarter about money smarter about saving smarter about credit cards okay 2023 i feel like was a bust honestly i personally had a lot of wins but i had a lot of fails too and fixing your credit for 2024 should be top tier so you know we're gonna erase 2023 yeah happen but you know we're gonna fix it for 2024 and we're in this challenge together guys so make sure you stop paying the minimum balance you did it you bought it let's pay it and let's get it done with we can live to charge again the next thing we're getting rid of for 2024 is eating out having somebody grocery shop for you for $20 extra for fees for a tip all these fees that uber eats puts on their apps we're not paying that in 2024. We're going to get more savvy about money. Instead, we're going to go back to, you know, what happened to the, like the taking out the meat in the morning and cooking it at night when you get home or meal prepping or whatever have you. I feel like when you get, I feel like all these things that make life convenient is inconvenient to your pockets. And you're not realizing how much you're actually spending. Now, I took the time out to go on one of my cards and realize how much money I'm spending in Grubhub just because I didn't feel like picking up the salt or those lemons I needed for my recipe or that cheese that I was missing in my recipe. And instead of calling Grubhub, calling Uber Eats, having them deliver the food, having them bring me food, it's a waste of money y'all and that money we could be saving towards something good like starting a business or investing or whatever have you but it's not towards food and uber eats and grubhub okay only people who are getting rich from grubhub is grubhub only people getting rich from uber is uber okay not even the drivers but it's draining a hole in your wallet that you don't even realize so make sure this year we are using that time to cook more you know plan better about our meals and stop letting these convenient apps drain us of all our money. I'm challenging you to look at your credit card, look at your debit card and see how much you're eating out and see how much you're ordering out or paying for convenience where back in the day we you just drive there and get our stuff. I'd rather spend the money on gas than to sit there and pay fees on top of fees to bring something that I could have got myself. Okay, so let's get rid of that for 2024. Let's be smarter with our money people. Okay, stop paying for convenience and go out there and get our own food. Okay, so this next one, I think it's for me, but it might be for you as well. Stop paying the bill because you're in a better financial situation. There was a moment in time a few years ago where I was bringing in a good amount. You know, I had multiple streams of income, you know, so my bills were paid, things were done. So I had a little bit extra money. So every time we went out, you know, I know like a friend is, you know, she paid for tuition or something like that. Oh, you know, I'm gonna pay for dinner or I wanted to celebrate my birthday and somebody couldn't go because of, you know, they were short here, short there. I'll pay. We're not doing that in 2024 okay there's nothing wrong with helping out friends and family and that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying you're taking money out of your pocket so that somebody else can eat out when they could have just ate at home or you're taking money out of your pocket for other people to travel when i'm sure they'd be able to travel without you we're not doing it in 2024 okay how many times were you going on a group trip and you know everybody wants to send you cash or send you this send you that and you're charging it on your credit card how many times do you actually get all of your money back i'll wait yeah i know <laughs> It happens, y'all, okay? People are going to be people, but if we implement better habits, we're gonna see a change. And honestly, the only way you're gonna see changes is if you change within yourself. So you have to stop being that person that wants to save everybody, save the world, you know? Don't worry, I'll put on my credit card, y'all pay me back. Oh, just send me the money on Cash App and somebody forgets, or you know, after the bill is paid, you're not even thinking about that bill anymore. It happens, okay? You just end up paying it because you don't want to be the person who's a bill collector running after everybody for money, you know? But it just puts you in a bad situation when constantly having to loan up money or be the credit, right? Or the person with all the credit cards or the person who, you know, you have the money in your checking, but everybody's to send you all the money. Don't do that. Let's stop doing that in 2024. Okay, that's dead in 2024. Let's bring back bringing out cash. If you're going out somewhere, bring cash okay you're going out to eat or anything stop at an atm go get cash and pay for your bill don't have a bill that's lingering or you're waiting for people to send you money nine out of ten times you're not going to get all your money back somebody's not going to pay the full somebody's going to pay you extra you don't even want to deal with that you're not a bill collector so let's leave it in 2024. the next thing i would definitely say for 2024 is we're going to stop avoiding the mail now 
I know, I'm one of those people, guys. If I didn't see it, if I didn't read it, it didn't happen. But there's so many things in the mail that you're missing out on that you gotta open it and read it, okay? Maybe you missed a bill and it's affecting your credit. You won't know because you're not checking it and you can't depend on these apps to send you notifications because they might think that the charge is normal. These are some of the things that we're avoiding by not opening the mail, thinking that if I don't see the bill, it doesn't exist. It exists. Experian, TransUnion, they're not missing a beat, okay? So make sure you're staying up to date, especially when you're trying to fix your credit for 2024 because we're going into 2024 and we're just changing it and being more intentional about our finances. Let's be better about avoiding the bad things that comes with mail, like bills, <laughs> and actually opening it, reading it, setting it to the side, and coming up with a game plan on how to fix it. In 2024, we're going to stop thinking that expensive means quality okay there are plenty and guys <laughs> listen i don't care how much money i make how many streams of income i bring in i don't care about none of that i'm gonna check the sale rack every time i'm gonna go to tj maxx marshall's every time okay because if it's one thing i love it's a deal okay i don't like i don't like paying full price i don't i'd rather not <laughs> i'd rather not i've never met anybody said oh i would love to pay full price no give me a deal give me a discount sometimes you can find nice things on like amazon or makeup that i've seen or i didn't get a chance to get tj maxx marshall's check their beauty aisle there are ways around it you don't have to spend all this money now the economy is so volatile you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow so start saving and stacking your money check marshall's check tj maxx instead of going to these big fancy home places go to home goods go to home send whatever's in your area go there see if you can't find quality items at a lower price okay we are saving in 2024 like i said we are being smarter about our finances and guys i like to scroll instagram too i scroll social media and you see all these luxurious homes with all these you know nice aesthetic rooms but you can get all of that from home goods marshall's from um home sense just by being a little bit more creative and with your finances and with your vision you can make all the things happen on a fraction of the price you just have to work at it and look okay so make sure we're doing that for 2024 expensive does not always mean quality it means that you just have to look and be a little bit more creative with how you find things and put them together for 2024 the last thing i would definitely say is i'm going to be more intentional about my credit cards now, when we have credit cards, like the minimum people usually have is maybe three or four. And how many times you sit there and you swipe on one, swipe on the other, swipe on all three, and before you know it, you have a bill on all three credit cards. Me personally, I think it's smarter to use one card at a time, okay? If you have to use your, your, your credit card, your Chase credit card, use that that month, pay it off, use the other one, rotate it, okay? Stop holding balances on several different cards because you're more likely to forget um, a due date, you're more likely to forget that you owe, okay? And it's more overwhelming when you have to pay three separate big bills instead of paying one bill, tackling it, and then moving on to the next. Um, you do have to keep your credit cards in rotation, though, because you don't want it to go too long without a balance. Don't be so fast to charge that card, okay? Make sure that you maybe use one card, focus on that card, and then rotate them so that we can be smarter, more financially savvy in 2024. We have plans to to excel this year we have plans to go above and beyond and starting making plans with your finances early is going to make a big difference so comment down below let me know what are some things you're changing financially for 2024 and let's talk about it thank you so much for hanging out with me today as always don't forget to like comment subscribe at the bottom and i'll see you guys next time bye